Africa is a continent full of beauty. Its beauty can be seen through its places and its people. Welcome to the Amazing People of Africa series where we take a look at some of the indigenous people of Africa. We'll be looking at their lifestyle, culture, and getting to learn about life through their knowledge and experiences. Before we start, please take the time to subscribe and hit the notification bell. Last month, we posted this video. A video about this magical African rain dance which brought an end to drought in South Africa and many of you were intrigued. So in today's video, we bring to you the rain queens of South Africa. In the middle of South Africa, live the Balobedu tribe in the Limpopo province and there live the rain queens. Women believed to have special powers including the ability to control clouds and rainfall. The first rain queen was known as Mojaji, which means ruler of the day. In the years after Mojaji's the first inauguration, around 1800, the Balobedu were a small and largely peaceful tribe. Lacking military power, Mojaji the first governed through politics of mystique. Under her rule, powerful rivals didn't attack the Balobedu. Instead, they even came to her to ask for rain. A folk story holds that the Balobedu settled in the area about 400 years ago after migrating south from the present-day Zimbabwe. Men ruled the tribe then and competition for succession was fierce. Claiming prophetic guidance, the last Balobedu king impregnated his daughter to start a line of female leaders. Her mother would help her along the way and even secretly packed rain-making charms for her. Another version of the story was that Mojaji's mother, Dungunzini, was first to flee from her village after she was impregnated by her brother. With the help of her mother, she stole her father's rain charms and sacred beads and headed towards Balobedu kingdom. There have been several rain queens and the next rain queen currently lives near Johannesburg and is 13 years old. Masalanabo Mojaji was three months old when her mother died. In that moment, she ascended to the throne of the Balobedu. If she turns 18, she'll officially be crowned the Rain Queen. Mojaji VII will be a queen in the true sense after almost 50 years because her last three predecessors were queens in name only after the apartheid regime demoted them in status in 1972. 2016, former President Jacob Zuma made the Balobedu one of the handful of tribal monarchies officially recognized by the South African state. When she comes of age, Mojaji will rule at the same level as the powerful Zulu and Kosa kings. She will hold the influence over more than 100 villages and receive a healthy government paycheck. Whether or not she brings rain is yet to be known by the time she takes her crown, but the restoration of the rain queen has a significant promotion for the Balobedu tribe, both financially and symbolically. She also presides over important traditional ceremonies like the annual rain-making dance. The rain queen is supposed to avoid all types of distractions and is not allowed to have a husband. The royal council will pick a suitor on her behalf and the man will only be allowed to visit her house at night. What do you feel about the rain queens? Do you believe in their mystical powers? Would you love to visit them and see them in action? Let us know in the comments below. Thank you for watching and if you haven't subscribed yet, please do so and hit the notification bell. If you enjoyed today's video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. Also, make sure to watch our other videos which celebrate our Mama Africa. We have the Mysteries of Africa series and the Amazing People of Africa series. It's been me, Linda, from Tuna Travel. Be sure to check out my YouTube channel which focuses on African travel vlogs. Please feel free to leave your suggestions or news tips on Africa you'd like us to cover next.